I had so many time. I have so much spare time in my hand that I was lost on what to do. I because I'm always out um, in my boarding house. I, either I'm in school or doing um, other activities that I didn't know what to do when I was in my place. I think that's also the reason why I got married because I got married in November 2020. I didn't know what to do, <laughs> and I asked my boyfriend. Hey, Ask me again if you want to marry me. And he said, Will you marry me? I said, Okay. <laughs> because I didn't have anything to do at that time. And so, we are. So, in other words, how did, did you cope when the pandemic started? Hello everyone, this is Beverly and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I'm a Filipino mom, Visaya, and I usually vlog about life, family, career, motherhood, minimalist living, and just about anything I can think of. Susurigaw ngayon, actually kahapon pa ako dito for work. So meron kasi akong series of activities, kaya I decided na dito na lang mag-sleepover. And today is Saturday, so... Maaga akong uuwi ng butuan. Meron din kasi kaming appointment sa doctor um, ni 30. So, yun. Join me as I travel back to butuan. This is just my second time na matulog um, out town na hindi kasama yung family ko. Um, when the pandemic started, we were on work from home. Tapos kababalik ko lang yun from maternity leave. Kaya medyo ano talaga yung bonding namin ni 30. Um... He was exclusively breastfed until he was one year and a half. Tapos nagmix na lang kami. But still, breastfeeding pa rin. Um, nung nag-report na ako from work na kailangan na talagang mag -field. So, it was quite a transition from exclusively breastfeeding. Tapos na-mix ka na siya. But because at that time, I mean last year, yung work ko, medyo maliit lang yung area of coverage ko. So, yung pinakamalayo was only San Francisco. So, that's like one hour and a half from Butuan. Kaya pwede ko lang balikan. But this year, medyo lumaki na yung area ko kasi <clears throat> nag-collapse na yung isang territory. So, I have to assume that territory. So, yung dating dalawang medical representative yung humahawak, isa na lang at ako yun. So, I'm covering the whole of Caraga. So, meron talagang mga times na kailangan kong matulog sa outtowns ko kasi hindi na talaga kaya yung biyahe. Or the things that um, I have to do as a working mom. So, para din naman sa kanila ang ginagawa ko. Um, hopefully, in the future, um, hindi na ganito yung maging setup na magkasama na kami lagi. Yun. So, it's not always sunshine and pag sinabi mo na yung trabaho is medical representative, parang magara, ara hotel um, nakakotse, daming gadgets, perks, and all of that. Well, it's true, ang daming benefits ng pagkakaroon ng isang corporate job, lalo na at sa sales ka. Pero meron din namang mga, you know, disadvantages or shall I say sacrifices that you have to make. Pala ang aking hotel room. So, it's a single matrimonial bed. Ito na lang kasi yung available dito sa tavern. So, I'm here at Tavern Annex, Rigao City. And maganda naman yung accommodation nila. So, nakatulog naman ako ng mabuti. Ayan. So, tour ko kayo. So, ganito lang siya kalaki. Yan. May table, may TV, pero walang signal yung cable. I understand kasi medyo hindi pa rin stable ang internet and even the networks here in Surigao uh, brought about by Bagyong Odette last uh, December. Merong cabinet. <laughs> ang taba ko na. Tapos si R. Yan. Kalat. Sorry. Ayun. Mag-check out na ako and off to the road. So, hanap na rin ako ng place for me to have my breakfast. Or baka sa kotse na lang mag-drive to na lang ako. Or baka mamaya sa my Lake Mainit. Parang gusto kong mag while enjoying the view of Lake Mainit.
Nandito na lang ako sa isang karindiriya kakain, guys. Kasi umuulan na siya. And I'm gutom already. So, I'm in bad ass na. 30 minutes away from Surigao. So, medyo malayo-layo pa ang aking biyahe. At gutom na ako. So, I'll eat muna. Later. Get me water. Thank you. 